In this video, we are going to learn about some of the other nutritional benefits to animal products besides just the protein, because we typically just focus on the protein. One of the really cool things about animals is that they can actually convert plant nutrients into an, a more absorbable form for us to eat. So let's start off with omega-3. Omega-3s are really good for our health. They're good for your heart health. They're good for your brain. And there are differences between the animal omega-3s and the plant omega-3s. So animals have DHA as omega-3s. So ocean-going fish, fatty fish, so we're talking like tuna, salmon, uh, mackerel, these types of fish have DHA, and it's really good for us. This is why we're supposed to eat it twice a week. Uh, ALA is in like walnuts and flaxseed, some other plants. This we can convert to DHA in our body, but our bodies aren't great at doing it. So animals' bodies can convert this much easier for us, and then if we eat the animal, then that helps us um, get the DHA that is really good for our health. So like I said, ocean fish, uh, grass-fed beef or grass-fed animals sometimes produce, um, they turn this ALA into DHA for us. You know, it depends on what the animal actually ate if it was grass-fed, but uh, grass-fed beef can be a good um, source of DHA for you. Oysters are also really good. So omega-3s can kind of be hard to eat in your diet if you're not always eating um, ocean animals, but grass-fed animals are a great choice. If you are vegan, uh, they some algaes do produce um, omega-3s as well. So there's like an alga oil is what it's called. It's a supplement. Um, you know, be careful with supplements. They're not all created equal. There's no governing body, so this is not professional dietary advice, but I'm just letting us know some of the other nutrients that animal products bring us that sometimes it can be hard to get from plants, although we do want a plant-based diet. Let's move on here. Check out some vitamins real quick. So B12 is primarily only in animal products. So we get meat, eggs, and dairy. If you're not eating any of those, um, some options are nutritional yeast, tempeh, seaweed, and then fortified cereals. So breakfast cereals are really good because they fortify them. They add way too much sugar, but it's a good option for you if you are vegan or vegetarian. Well, vegan primarily because you can eat eggs and dairy. But uh, vitamin D as well. Up here in the north, we don't get so much sunlight. Especially now, we basically aren't synthesizing much vitamin D. Um, eggs, egg yolk, and milk are probably the biggest vitamin D sources. Uh, I like to supplement. Um, vitamin D3 is in animal products. Vitamin D2 is in plant products. And we need to get vitamin D3 in our diet. It's good for... Um, depression, for our bones, uh, decreases risk of cancer. So we need some vitamin D. So make sure you're supplementing with that um, if you are on a restricted diet. Let's see what else we have here. We have some other minerals. So minerals are like things on the elemental table, right? Calcium, we've all heard of this, primarily in dairy products. So if you're not eating dairy, you need to look for calcium elsewhere. So soy, dark leafy greens, broccoli, these are some good options for you to add to your diet. Like I said, this is iron on the elemental table. Iron is really interesting. Um, it's primarily in red meat and shellfish. It isn't as absorbable in plants, but there you go. You can see some options, tofu, lentils, spinach. Um, iron is really interesting, especially for athletes. It helps build our red blood cells and carries oxygen for us, or which carries oxygen for us. It helps with our bone health. So iron is pretty important. Um, if you are supplementing with iron, like a lot of athletes probably should be, you want to take it with vitamin C uh, because that helps it absorb a little bit more. This is what I did my thesis on, so I know a thing or two about iron. But let's move on. Uh, we have zinc as well. So zinc is primarily in red meat, shellfish, again, mostly animal products, but we can get it in legumes, nuts, and seeds. So if you're eating animal products, um, you are getting a lot more than just protein, so know that. And if you aren't getting animal products, you just have to be aware that there are going to be some potential deficiencies in your diet and then make the appropriate changes so that you don't have nutritional de deficiencies that cost your health. Like zinc is really good for your immune system, for instance. There's some other things like creatine is only in animal products. You know, maybe if you're an athlete trying to be a vegan, that would be something you might want to supplement with. Um, potentially taurine. I don't know too much about those, but anyways, that is good for this video. I will see you in the next one.